It may sound harsh, but it will bring results. That's according to new Senator Dwayne Zaniklis. He's currently finalizing a bill he plans to introduce that will allow for criminals to receive caning as part of their sentence. The idea came from his trip to Singapore several years ago. St. Nicholas noting a huge population there, but minimal crime that he attributes to their corporal punishment system. He adds that he's tired of seeing our people being victimized. We see our community here, you know, it's just rampant crime and seems like lawlessness and revolving door and stuff like that. And that's the stuff that we need to address and we need to be honest with it and, you know, and, and be brave. Sinicolas's bill, which is supported by a few of his fellow Democratic colleagues, aims to offer a more effective form of punishment that will dissuade and deter potential criminal perpetrators and may help with lowering the prison population. The individual will have to be uh, found guilty of a crime, and then it would be up to the judiciary. We gave a lot of leeway for the judiciary to decide whether they would want to uh, use ca uh, corporal punishment. It's, it, this, this is like another tool, uh, along with a uh, long, harsh time sentences. If found guilty, they must be physically capable and be between the ages of 18 to 50. The number of caning strikes will be specified in the sentence and will be inflicted on the buttocks and will be done in private. Although the goal is to inflict some form of pain and punishment, St. Nicholas wants to maintain the dignity and fairness. As to who would be administering the caning, it would be a corrections officer and present would be the chief of police and a medical official. Doing, you know, can't be cruel and unusual. You know, and be, because we have the medical officer there, you know, that's that's protecting against the cruel, cruelness of the of the thing that we're not trying to be cruel. We're trying to administer a court sanctioned uh, um, uh, law. Since the word got out about his plans to introduce a judicial corporal punishment bill a few days ago, it has generated a lot of conversation within the island community. I think it's a surprise to them as much as it's a surprise to, <laughs> to everybody. But, uh, you know, this is something that, uh, you know, I've been dreaming about since, uh, since I, like I said, I, I, I read everything about Singapore and since I visited Singapore, I've, I've always thought of this as a, as a wonderful solution to our crime problem. Here's my crime solution. And I know, I know we're gonna have some opposition, but I wanna have everybody uh, approach this with an open mind and uh, consider the, the victims. I'm always open to solutions. This bill is a working document, you know. They can always call me and say, hey, Senator, you know, we, we would like you to approach it this way or that way. At least I got the community talking, and at least we're addressing it. Jonah Gancharfis, KOM News.